YouTube, what's good? Vinny Matthews here with the Vibe Vibrations. Coming here to serve you. Go ahead and hit that like button, man. It's been five videos in five days. I'm, you know, I told you guys I'm being more consistent with my videos. I'm going to try to uh, upload every day, man. Every day. Uh, let's see how long I go with this trend. If you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt from yesterday, because it's the same day. All right, today's Thursday, but I'm going to be uploading this video um, on Friday now. Um, what I want to get into this video is, um, I actually spoke, it's hot in here, man. I actually spoke about this, um, a long time ago. I make, actually made a video about this, but, um, I was outside, I was meditating, you know, connected with nature, trying to get some fresh air, and I had a conversation with a guy with dreadlocks, and, um, his dreadlocks were a little bit longer than mine, and I showed him, you know, how my, um, dreadlocks used to look like. And uh, he kept telling me, he's like, yeah, man, you know, my dreadlocks, man. Like, so he, I don't know. He either told me he was going it for two years or three years. I don't know, man. He, I, I, t I told him check out my videos too, man. So like, he probably like, he probably want to correct me. or be like, I wasn't paying attention, but it doesn't matter. It is what it is. Uh, he was telling me, yo, ever since he got his dreadlocks, man, um, he's been getting a lot of play. He's been getting a lot of female attention. I'm like, yo, that's, that's great that's that's freaking great but uh he was telling me uh he was like yo man but I, I i can't sleep with all these women man i'm just like well why why not i mean just do your thing bro and just like i don't know man it just ends from there and i what you know what i was explaining to him is exactly what i'm explaining to you guys right now having dreadlocks isn't enough all right having dreadlocks can get you to sleep with a woman but it's not the ultimatum, all right? You guys have to understand, um, when it comes to women, they're, you know, it, it takes more work than just attraction, you know? Um, women can be with the most ugliest man in the world, but it's something about them that they're attracted to, all right? And what that exactly is is their personality, all right? You can be the best man, best looking man in the world, but if you got a horrible personality, if you're not confident, if you don't have some type of charisma or swag, you, yo, that's it ends right there. So with dreadlocks, so what I had to understand in my journey is, yo, dreadlocks always get me in the door. They always get me in the door, you know. Um, even if women, you know, like, so for the women who, like, do like my dreadlocks, man, it's like, boom. I passed the phase of like, you know, if she's attracted to me or not, you know, I, I, I'm at the phase where I, I can get her number because she's attracted to me. All right. Now, everything behind my dreadlocks would have to do the rest of the work. Me having a charming personality, you know, or, uh, you know, me lying to her that, you know, that I can provide for or, you know, just some type of game. But, yo, I, I saw so I explained it to me. I was like, yo, man, dreadlocks just isn't enough. All right. You, you got to have more like dreadlocks will get you in the door, you know, but you got to have something to keep her coming, you know, and, um, you know, what I've experienced too, like even I, yeah, I've experienced women who didn't even like dreadlocks at all, like at all, you know, but I was still able to keep them and I was still able to sleep with them. Why is that? Because I have a type of, you know, personality or some type of charm. All right. A lot of you guys are lacking that. A lot of you guys are lacking personality. All right. It just, yeah, you just, it's just so like for us men, we're visualizers. All right. So if we see a chick, fat ass, big titties, pretty face, yo, that's it. We smash it. We want to smash because that's just how we operate. But for women, it's different. All right. Women, you know, they, they listen. All right, so if you talk your way out the booty, you talk your way out the booty, so she can care less about your dreadlocks. And you might be, you might think you're in the door because she's playing with your dreadlocks, she's talking about your dreadlocks, she's telling you how attractive you are. But bro, if you ain't got no game, if you ain't got no charisma, you you ain't getting nowhere, Playboy. Now back to what I was saying, um, I've dated plenty, slept with plenty of girls who just was not a fan of dreadlocks, and I, I slept with a lot of older women too. Just weren't a fan of dreadlocks because, you know, back in their day, you know, it was frowned upon to have men with long hair, you know. And even like, yo, I, I, I slept with a lot of older white women, too. <laughs> That's another story. Um, 
they say it themselves like you know like, like I you know like they, they they're not gonna say it but I know exactly what they I know exactly what they I know exactly what they're looking at they're looking at me like oh man he's the ultimate black guy you know he has the dreads he's black his swagger he just Yo, the black the better. When it comes to white women, it's like, yo, the black the better, and they see my hair, and I, you know, I don't know this type of fantasy that they have. You know, this Tarzan, Jesus, yo, I, I don't know, man. It's just, it, it's crazy. But um, my personality, my swag, my charisma made them fall in love with me having dreadlocks. All right, so it's 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 all a confidence thing, man. And um, the only way I build my confidence when it comes to women like that is. Yo, practice. Allen Iverson, practice, practice. We talking about practice? That's that's really it, man. Like, you just gotta practice. You just gotta explore. So, like, when it comes to my dreadlocks, man, like I, you know, at first, like I, I used to think, like, oh man, that's all I need, you know. Like, I, I'm, you know, pretty Vinny was they used to call me. But I realized, like, nah, it's not enough, man. Cause you be looking at Pookie and Ray Ray, they be smashing all these hoes. They be fucking all these hoes, and yo, know, and you know, like, bruh, <laughs> there's. <laughs> Yo, I don't judge men. I don't judge men, but you know, like, yo, man, this dude, he, uh, he's, he don't take care of himself. You know, he doesn't look like the type of guy that, you know, just care about his looks, man. But, yo, his game, that man got immaculate game. He has a great personality. He shows the utmost confidence. And I'm telling you, I see a lot of you guys with dreadlocks that are very shy. They're not confident within yourselves. You know, I don't know, you know, more than likely it's because of the hairstyle. You maybe you're not used to the hairstyle. Maybe you're not used to, you know, having curly locks. Maybe you're not used to, you know, uh, the certain style or, you know, maybe you got it done by somebody else that you're not familiar with. But at the end of the day, I see a lot of resistance from you guys. And I'm just like, yo, man, embrace it. Embrace it, embrace it, embrace it. Yo, I could tell you a story where um, I remember uh, I went on a date with this one chick and I uh, met her uh, met her off like online. And um, <laughs> this was the first time that I had my hair in a bun, in a, pa a pineapple. And it, what's crazy is, yo, I was, uh, I was, I was wild, man. I was, <laughs> uh, it was on a Saturday, and I had three dates. I had three dates that day. Crazy, right? Like I was on a roll. And um, you know, um, the whole time I was thinking to myself, I was like, yo, man, these women, they, they're gonna look at me, you know. See this little ponytail. They see this little bun. It was a pineapple bun, so it's not a ponytail. It was like you know, but it was like it was sitting on top, and you know, like I don't mind. Like I, I, I do like buns, but like as long as they're in the back, you know, nice and clean. But just it was like right on top, and uh, it was crazy because I, yeah, I kept doubting myself, but I don't know, man. Like something came over me. Like as soon as I seen it, I was like, yo, man, it's time to put that charm on. It's time to put that personality on. You know, let me, let me get in, back into my masculine frame, man. You know, I'm gonna show like, hey, yeah. Yeah, I man, these these are, they just dreads, you know. I just wear them up top, man. But what's up? What's good with you? And just like that, man. So, um, <laughs> crazy thing was, um, the first one, uh, we went to the, um, I think we went to the museum. Um, <laughs> second one, we went to like, uh, we went to, uh, somewhere to get some drinks. And the third one, uh, we went to get some drinks again. Man, I was lit. I was lit. And the last one was a white girl too. She was probably she was like two three years older than me. And uh, of course, you know, my confidence was off the roof, you know, off the roof. And, you know, she was one of those white girls who just only dated black men. It, boom. Easy. Easy. I'm in there, you know, especially if I'm a black man with dreadlocks. Easy. I'm the ultimate black guy, you know, because like I said, you know, just it's not it's very it's not in the norm for, you know, men to have long hair. It's not. So when you actually do have a man with long hair, it's like, yo, you found a fucking pot of gold, you know, no rainbow included. So, um, <laughs> I remember, you know, uh, we went out to get some drinks. You know, I was in my masculine frame, had my nice personality. You know, I was letting her do all the talking. You know, I was just letting her, you know, I was raising her interest. And then, you know, of course, you know, did my thing that night, smashed and dash. And uh, I remember uh, <laughs> a couple of months afterwards, we was talking about it. And I was just like, cause, you know, it's uh it's very rare that uh, I sleep with somebody on the first night, but it's but it is possible. It definitely is possible. I've done it plenty of times. But um, 
you know, I don't always expect it, but you know, when you feel the chemistry is there, when you feel like, you know, like she's, you know, sending you signals like, oh man, like sexual signal signals. And she just, yo, she, you just know. And like, luckily the bar was right, right next to her house. She just lived like, it was like a block away. Like I drove up to her place and we walked to the bar, got her drunk. I mean, she got me drunk, man. Cause I don't, you know, I, I don't be drinking like that, but I um, mean, you know, I can hold my own. <laughs> and, um, yeah, we was talking, uh, and she was just saying, she was like, yo, man, as soon as you walked in the door, I knew I was going to sleep with you. And I was like, shorty, say what? She was like, yeah, it was just the way how you carried yourself, your demeanor, and, and your hair, the way your hair was styled up. And I was like, shorty, shorty. That just proves that, you know, like, even though, like, I was feeling, like, a bit self-conscious about my dreadlocks, it was all about my demeanor. It was all about my personality. It was all about how I carried myself, man. And I'm telling you guys, yo dreadlocks will get you in the door but it won't close the door behind you so you can get in that thing man so for all my fellas out there you know it's 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 cool that you're taking a risk it's cool that you, you're stepping yourself out there by getting dreadlocks i'm telling you women do love dreadlocks i don't care how many women say they, they're not interested into it yo once you put in that good charm it's, 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 it's irresistible it doesn't matter if you ain't i'm telling you it's it's it's, it's, oh, it's it's broke people who can get bitches it's broke dudes get women because they got that confidence they got that charm and you know it all depends on where the woman is in, in her state of her life but i'm telling you guys yo dreadlocks is just not enough it'll get you there it'll get you the number you know it'll get you conversation but you gotta do a little bit of more homework all right let me know in the comment box what you guys think yo hit the like button subscribe to the channel man i'm telling you guys i'm, I'm gonna be uploading every day now I'm going to keep my word. Even if it's something short, yo, I'm connecting with you guys. We're getting there, man. We, we're about to build up this page and follow my next page. The description is down below. I got kids. I'm going to be talking more subjects about women, kids, your purpose, relationships, and more, and so on and so on. So until the next video, guys, I'm Vinny Matthews, and I'm out.